You know, when you go out to the lake, you never know what kind of day it's going to be. I mean, you could create lifetime memories. You can have lifetime memories that are great. And you can have lifetime memories that are bad. And with the water and boats, I mean, good stuff and bad stuff happens. I mean, I'm sure if you've been fishing for any length of time, you know some buddies that have passed, you know, because of accidents or weather related things, etc. We don't really prepare ourselves, I believe, like we should. And this was made very apparent to me when I caught this muskie. Make sure you guys go watch that video. It was a phenomenal, so it's 14, phenomenal lifetime memory. 1415. Woo wee! I'm not gonna take a chance on grabbing them again. Wow! 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 He sliced me open pretty good. I realized quickly that my first aid kit was inadequate. You know what the bad news is? That is right on my casting thumb. Dang it. Look at this. What do I need? Super glue? Clean rag. My only concern is. So my only concern is infection. But that's. Pretty good slice, man. So we're gonna put some super glue in it. And keep on going. And we'll see what happens. Man. But I was not gonna let a cut cut short a fishing day, pardon the pun. Man. Now, the spinner rod wasn't so bad. Yeah. But the bait caster, man, that, <sighs> that hurt. So that's how you get out of backlash. And you do that. And I would like to and say, and you do that. That's me up on my casting. And There's you do backlash that. backlash for you. And you get that loop. That is messing you up there which is that loop. And that's how you get the backlash out. Patience, patience. My thumb. Mess my thumb up. Oh. I gotta lip them now with this hand. There we go. Oh my gosh. He's got me. Oh, he does. And wrapped up for a minute. I see him. I see him. He's looking at it. He's looking at it.
I sure wish I could blame the thumb on those missed fish, but I think you guys know better than that. That was operator's error. So my first aid kit, let me just kind of go through it. By the way, so the finger is healed up somewhat. Uh, it's just sore. I mean, it wasn't bad. It, it just bled really bad, which is good because that helped with the infection. But um, it's just at the wrong place. You know what I mean? And um, I mean, I've had bad injuries. I don't know if you can see the difference in those fingers. But there were 70, 78 stitches that put that finger back together again. I got a, stuck in a fan on a farm when I was a young man. So I've had some serious, and I got other injuries too that are pretty serious. This wasn't a serious injury at all, but it just made me think about what do I have in the boat in case something serious happens. And this is not a case of a go bag in your boat. I mean, let's face it. We have, I have a lighter, you know, to fix my rod tips and different things. I have a lighter. I can, I can make a fire pretty easy um, if I'm stranded. I don't have a tourniquet, but we got belts, we got rope, we got stuff like that. So I want to go through what I got in my first aid kit now. And what I want you guys to do is please let me know what you carry in your first aid. Because, you know, this is the first time I really had to use something that, uh, or didn't have the stuff I really needed. All right, so <clears throat> I'm getting older, 55 now, ibuprofen for sure. Sometimes, you know, don't eat right. I got some Tums, or don't eat at all. That gives me heartburn. Uh, got toilet paper, definitely necessity. Uh, I get migraines, so that can run a day on the water, for sure. So I've got my migraine medication. All right, so I upped the ante on Band-Aids. I used to carry knuckle pads with me all the time, and I love those, but, you know, I, I, I couldn't find them, but, I got some big band-aid band-aids to cover big areas. Alright. Then, because if it's a little band-aid area, I got those too. There's some oh, I ran out of them. I, yeah. I ran out of trying to put them on there and it just kept soaking up with blood. I also have butterfly strips. Now, I didn't have those before. You know, I got the super glue that I put in there, but I need to take the butterfly strips to hold that thing together a little tighter. That would have really helped. Uh, alcohol prep pads, alcohol pads would have helped. That's for sure. So I got that in there. Gauze. You know, wrap that thing up real good with some paper tape so it's easy to get off. Some more alcohol pads. And some antibiotic ointment. So make sure that you have some of that stuff. Um, what else would you guys have? Um, you know, you could, you could pile a bunch of stuff into one of these kits. What do you need? I mean, you never know. I got dikes to cut off hooks that are stuck in you. And I've been stuck with hooks past the barb. I've used the fishing line method to get them out. Um, you have a lot of things in your boat that you can use. So let me know what you guys think I should have in my kit. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And I look forward to reading your comments.